Coming across the country, thousands of high school students held another walkout today. They're trying to keep the conversation going about school safety. They chose today, April 20th, for a very specific reason. It's the anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting in Littleton, Colorado. Well, our own Cheryl Preheim was a young reporter in Denver in 1999 and was on the scene that unforgettable day. It's been 19 years since the Columbine High School shootings. One teacher and 12 students were killed. Those students would be in their mid to late 30s by now, likely with families of their own. This is a pin that I've had for 19 years now. The families of the Columbine victims gave it to me. It says, never forgotten. That was the pledge, never forget. I never have, never could. I can clearly see each one of their faces and everything I saw when I was a young reporter covering Columbine. Never forget was a rally cry, a comfort, and really a plea. What happened at Columbine in 1999 was unheard of then. It's not unheard of now. I have seen the victims' families overcome cruelty with kindness in so many different ways. They'd all get together for dinner or a baseball game over the years to support each other. Kyle Velasquez's family would remember our birthdays and bring gifts into the newsroom. Kelly Fleming's parents recently sent a card just to stay connected. Lauren Townsend's mom has encouraged people to recommit to the goodness so many people experienced right after Columbine before people got busy again. Never forget so it never happens again, yet it does. I don't know the answers to make it stop, but in the name of every child who has ever gone to school and never come home, and everyone who loved them, I hope we use more of the kindness the Columbine community taught us and never stop working towards finding answers to protect our children.